good morning everybody you are not going to believe what I have for you today <laughs> I was laying in bed last night uh, trying to think of something that I wanted to do uh, I have so many ideas I had to write them down but I forgot y'all I forgot yesterday when I fed my animals I forgot to feed the fish I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm going to do that today. I have a beautiful meal right here that I'm fixing to prep. Y'all enjoy the show. First thing I want to do is get some olive oil in the pan. Y'all, I love all the sweet comments I'm getting. It's so sweet. Got the ducks here behind me. I got grilled chicken strips. Uh, grilled chicken breast, so to say. Get this right here. Any day now. Any day now we're going to have baby lambs. I'm so excited. I can't hardly stand it. I'm going to make sure I show y'all. Today, I'm going to be preparing a grilled chicken salad, a grilled chicken salad for y'all, so y'all can see how this goes. Get my lettuce cut up. Fresh, fresh ingredients makes the best salads. Almost forgot, y'all. Gotta add that seasoning. Yes, got to have that garlic salt. Roasted garlic and herb, but that gives it that, that mouth-watering effect. A little bit, of, little bit of garlic salt, not a whole lot. When you're putting garlic, two different kinds on there, it don't take a whole lot. Just a splash. Got some salt in it. Lettuce prep. All right. Set this to the side. Start on the cucumber. That's so pretty. Got so much detail. I love greenery. I love colors. Gosh, it makes food so much better. Got these right here. Good thing about the ducks, they like getting scraps. They eat everything. Here, y'all. 
It's always better with a little flavor. My wife yesterday, she come in from work. She saw that video. She want to know where her steak omelet was. I told her. I said, I'll sure make you one. Anytime. Them so good. So pretty. These are what you see, baby. Tomatoes. Get that put to the side. I love these right here. My daddy called me last night. He said, son. He said, I like your cooking video. He said, but I have a special request. You know, my daddy don't never ask for nothing. Not even when he needs to. He, he has a lot of pride. And he's old school, so, you know, that generation of people, they don't ask nobody for nothing. My grandmother, same way. Cooking, cooking quick. Let me get the heat down. All right. Get this cut up. But my daddy texted and said, I got a request. I said, yes, sir. You know, he never asked for anything. Bless his heart. I wish he would. I, that's, <laughs> I mean, when that's your father, you know, you'll do anything. You'll do anything for your parents, you know. I mean, that's, they the reason why you're here. He said, I want you to make a dessert. I said, the dessert? He said, yeah, he said, the hamburgers always look good, the, the turkey melt look good. He said, and that omelet, he said, I had your mama go to the grocery store last night at 9.30. <laughs> he said, he had to have an omelet, and like, when he watched that video, he said he made it through the video, but uh, like, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes later, he got to thinking about that video and he said, Tammy Russell. That's what he calls my mom. Need to go get that stuff and let's make that omelet. So that was pretty cool. My dad watched it and he he liked it. That was funny. And I got a good laugh out of it. I actually thought about prepping this stuff before I started, but heck, I reckon it ain't that ain't that much trouble. Sure, y'all want mine? I got one more here. So I didn't tell him the dessert I was gonna make. I told him I said I tell you what I'll take your request, but it's gonna be a surprise. So that's what that's what I'm gonna do. Oh gosh, this is looking so good. Got this right here. You can't have a salad without some carrots.
Yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, well, I did forget to feed the fish. We have really big fish in here. I mean, we have some 40 and 50 pound fish that come up and... But, but the problem is, is I feed them at, in the afternoons, like right at sunset, because that's when I like to come out here and sit on the dock, me and my wife, and we look at the sky and look at the sunset and look at the birds and the geese usually fly in and out of the pond. And that's just a really good time for us. We... We just enjoy that time of day, but let me hold on a minute. My heat went out. Well, that's no good. I ain't got nowhere to set it. Five second rule. Diesel, you better get back. Alright, got my heat back. Hold on a second, I'm losing my heat. I laid that pan down. I know what happened. I cut my regulator down too low. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, mushroom time. I laid that pot down, diesel came. Diesel was about to come up here and get him a bite of that. Mushrooms are so pretty. They give it so much flavor and character. It's amazing it all oh, God's creation. Uh, how it, it's hard to if you just sit down and really think about what all He created, what all is His, and what all is free for us to enjoy, free of charge, all the beautiful sceneries and. It's amazing. And y'all, the wind ain't blowing today. I apologize yesterday. I know that wind was horrible. I'm still learning, so y'all try to be patient. I got my chickens ready. I got my salad. I just wanted to make sure I was still going. I'm gonna feed the fish right quick. Maybe we'll get some action. Alrighty, I got my I got my prep work done. Show y'all right here. I got my mushrooms, my bell pepper, my tomatoes, cucumbers, carrots. I got red, green, and yellow bell peppers. I, I don't know when food looks good. When food looks good, it, it makes it more enjoyable. All right, I'm gonna get my chicken. So good. So good. I'm gonna get a babies. I'll get a babies the rest of that. Get my gas turned off. Got my chicken going in. Got my peppers. You hear that dove? They make the funniest, prettiest sounds you hear out here. Alright. 
get my cucumbers, my carrots put in, my mushrooms. <laughs> Y'all, I got a lot of ingredients left. <laughs> oh. Today, I decided to go with Country Ranch croutons. <laughs> One other thing, I also got a salad to feed an army. Alright. We're going to add our salt, a little bit of pepper, I'm going to add a couple more pieces of chicken on top. Still got some for the babies. Everybody's a little different. I like ranch on mine. All right. Got my fork. I want to show y'all. Pretty salad. It's got all the flavors, the grilled chicken breast, lettuce. I can't wait to try this. I'm going to lay my ingredients to the side. Alright y'all. I'm not going to do like on the omelet. I'm going to try this. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for letting me be here another day. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to spread joy around the world. Thank you for my subscribers. Thank you for all the love and kind words they send. Thank you, Lord, that it may be my content to get out and touch somebody's lives and, and bring their spirit up and put joy in their life and I know there's a lot of sickness and death and Lord we not we not gonna give the devil the credit today. Today is all about you, positivity and good smelling food. Amen. Alright y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Daddy called me and said, Man, how did you not try that omelet? I said, Daddy, I, I don't know. It just it slipped through the crack. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Diesel. Alright. Mm. That's winning. Here, baby, I got you a treat. Good boy. Come here, Coca. I got you a treat. Coca's my deaf blue healer. That's a good girl. <laughs> All right, y'all. This next part right here. Sorry. My mama skinned me. She sees me talking with my mouth full. Woo! This right here goes out to my father. He asked for this especially. First thing I want to do 
the good thing about my cutoffs is I can take them over there and give them to my pot bed of pigs. All right, y'all, I got fresh strawberries. My granddaddy owned a meat market, and my daddy was a meat cutter. And we have family that believes in a sharp knife. I mean, it. I could surely, I could surely do this without it, but huh, hard to argue with. Hard to argue with the old timers ways this I'm one of them type if it ain't broke don't fix it well that's the way that's the way I try to live I try to keep I try to keep the way my parents raised me I try to keep that I use that mindset and that's and I try to keep my youngins teach my youngins that so oh I didn't tell you what I was making. Well, I'm going to make a strawberry shortcake. My daddy loves. <laughs> He's funny. He, said <laughs> he always says, if Terry Clark could make strawberry shortcake, my mama would be in trouble. My mom was a good sport. She said, well, honey, I'm pretty sure she can figure it out. But what's funny is my mama said, well, if George Strait ever comes to town, sorry to bat your luck. <laughs> my, mama, my mom and daddy is, is wonderful. They've been married 38 years. Beautiful. Got my strawberries. All right. George Strait, that that got me thinking. That got the wheels turning in my head. I might as well do a rip right quick. Everybody asks, what's a rip? Well, Probably the reason people's got to ask what that is is that's something we made up, us country folks. <laughs> and, the, and what a rip is, is basically you take a part of a song and you just do a cut on it. and No, no prep, no rehearsal, just wing it, basically. So I might as well just wing it. This is kind of like the cheese the other day. One slice. One slice would probably do it, but. Got my cake glade here. Get this put up. Out the way. Oh gosh, this is about to. I can't hardly stand it. Like food, food is my. I don't know. There's, there's, there's God, family, and food. And I mean, hey, it's pretty simple. I don't really have to have much more than that. I mean, I, I'm thankful for everything I got. I've been blessed, and and I don't take it for granted one bit. I. I'm really fortunate, and I try every day, every day, to be positive and uh, just make a better, make a better thing out of it. Try to make, try to take bad stuff and turn it around to be positive. Cause it's real easy to get caught up in in be ill. I I've done it myself. It's real easy to just be ill instead of, you know, being in a good mood. So maybe, 
Oh, my daddy. My daddy's going to be calling. He, he actually might come to the house now. <laughs> All right. This put up. Hmm. Making a mess. Where's my neck? It's hard. When it comes to dessert time, it is not very hard to make a mess. Get my strawberries in it. These are fresh. I could have bought frozen strawberries. And it'll work. But nothing is as incredible as fresh anything think about it anything fresh is definitely worth the time it takes to do it you just get better results better tasting food better just my opinion just my opinion I, I don't know everything but I certainly Certainly try. One more shot of this. Alright, Daddy. This is for you. Woohoo! My goodness. Look at this dessert. I got my pound cake. I got my whipped cream, I got my glaze, and my fresh strawberries. I'm always a gentleman, y'all, but like, I, I gotta try this. Where's my fork? This goes out to my pa that wanted the dessert. My goodness. I'm going to have to call my daddy and thank him like he done it. Because, oh my gosh, I've been missing this my whole life. Enjoy doing this, y'all. I never thought I would be cooking food. I mean, obviously I cook, but I never thought I would be able to share like my recipes, my ideas, and this is new to me. This is new to me to the public. So. Let me show y'all one more time. <sighs> that dessert. Let me get salad out here. It really, it was really hard for me to stop eating that grilled salad to make this, but I wanted to go ahead and get it done. Get her done. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot to. Y'all didn't see that. Had a big old wad flick out of there. <sighs> My chicken. My croutons. I hear the puppy eating it. What fell on the floor? He won't take a dog bone no more. in there. So glad y'all tune in to watch my channel and support me. Support my family, my grandmother. It really means a lot to us. It, I do this because of y'all. 
for y'all to to try to just bring love bring love into your home try to just try to turn that bad day into a good day and I'm just glad that I can do that for you and I hope I continue to be able to do it and I hope y'all continue watching I'm gonna get y'all close up That's my grilled chicken breast salad. That's my so yummy strawberry shortcake. Oh, my daddy's going to be so... I'm telling you, I will hear about this. I will hear about this from Brother Hodges. <laughs> All righty, folks. This is Stephen Hodges. Told you I had a treat for you today, and here it is. Oh, let me have one more bite. I don't think nobody will hold it against me. I'm so going to enjoy this. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm so glad Mother Nature cooperated today. And didn't try to blow my whole little set up here off the dock. <laughs> it, I can't control the elements, but I'm glad today worked out for me. I love all y'all. Thank y'all for the love and support. <sighs> well, I decided to enjoy my lunch with y'all. Come here, baby. Come here, I got a treat for you. Come here. That's a good boy. You a sweet boy. Mm -hmm. Bless his heart. He don't want that milk bone. You don't have to worry. He gets lots of love inside. The weather. The weather's pretty good today. 46 degrees. It's really good. I mean, it's... I ain't no way my wife will make it out here, but it don't bother me. You can't describe the flavor this meat has. Bless your heart. This is the, the hungriest little baby you ever seen. debating on whether to show you show y'all this part but I just want to share it with you you may brave buddy here Crouton approved. Fresh ingredients. The crunch and the juice. 
really makes it a really good dish. Mm. I feel bad y'all eating in front of my dogs. I really do love them. All right, all right. <laughs> Eat some of my dessert. Even describe it. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't use the illustration, but it's like going to church and feeling the presence of the Lord. Like maybe I'm wrong for comparing that to flavors in food, but oh my goodness. Once you experience true flavor, <laughs> it's something you'll never forget. And that goes hand in hand with feeling the presence of our Lord and Savior. I'm not perfect by any means, and I ain't even trying to preach, but I'm very thankful my mother raised me in church and you know we was there every time the doors open especially homecoming week because <laughs> that's when that good fried chicken and all them desserts that them older ladies make them good sweet grandmas like mine that did this mastered bacon for the last 50 years that, my friend, is is. I would like to get on that level. Got a lot I can learn from my granny. Hmm. She don't like me to call her granny. She said, "That makes me sound old, boy." I said, "I said, well, Grandma, I don't mean nothing by it, so that's why I gave her the nickname Granny Judon." She, like, I don't think she really liked that one neither, but it's kind of one of them things you got to pick your battles, so she lets me call her that. This is awesome. I wish y'all could try it. It's like hard to put down. I mean, even if I didn't even cook the chicken breast salad, I could sit down with this and pile up on the couch and it would be a pretty good day. <laughs> definitely, definitely gonna have to make the wife one when she gets home. good. Alrighty. I enjoyed y'all coming along with me today, sharing a recipe, sharing the love, putting that extra umph into the, into the product. Y'all have a good day and I'll Hopefully the next video, when you see me, I'll be uh, putting together my grandma's picnic table. I already went and bought the supplies last night at Home Depot. I got everything ready. I just got to get with her and make sure she feels up to it. Because I guess when you're 83, you, you don't wake up every morning feeling like a spring chicken. So I'm going to get with her, find out when she feels... Uh, 
good enough to do it. And we'll catch y'all in the next video. Thank you.